What's up folks, Dave Mate here. This is another installment for Team Lucid Dream. Uh, please check us out on Facebook if you haven't joined the group yet. I'll put the link below this video in the description. Uh, really great group, powerful lucid dreamers, people sharing their information on the uh, subtle body and the subtle world when you leave your physical body at night when you go to sleep. Uh, but remember, there's only one body uh, and there's only one world. So uh, just keep it unified with that sort of thinking. Today I just want to talk a little bit about uh, questions and lucid dreams. Questions and lucid dreams. What does that mean? What's going on with that? Well, to begin with, I go through many periods where I don't have any lucid dreams whatsoever, or if I do, I don't remember that I had a lucid dream. So mind you, many times you will have lucid dreams, uh, but it's sort of paradoxical that you will forget that you even had the lucid dream. So when you wake up, it's as if you didn't even have a dream at all. Yet you were totally lucid and you had a great lucid dream. Or perhaps that's what happens every single night. You don't remember a dream. Who knows? I'm not sure. Who is? Uh, it just so happens I'm in a a nice little groove right now where I am having a lot of lucid dreams um, as I stated in a few videos ago about the, uh, within these installments I said that I've been having lucid dreams as long as I can remember that's true uh, as long as I think back I've always had lucid dreams so I guess I've been having them for well over uh, 28 years now so I'm happy that I could have said I could I could attest to that uh, but just over the past year to two years, I've been asking questions. I've sort of evolved in my lucid dreams. And, you know, just a couple days ago, I had a lucid dream and <clears throat> I was doing some sort of energy work. A lot of times in my lucid dreams, I, I like to, and it sounds kind of weird, but I, I, uh, I end up having a lot of these battles, uh, where I manifest things, energy balls, I, I fly, I walk through walls. There's always some sort of, not always, but many times I'm, I'm in some sort of battle. Maybe that's reflective of my life. Maybe I'm going through things, you know, I'm running a business, I'm dealing with a lot of people, a lot of companies. Maybe that's reflected in my dreams. Perhaps it is, probably so. Uh, and just recently, this lady was seemed to be watching me while I was having this energy battle, just having fun. You know, I was creating energy balls, and people were attacking me. I was attacking them, and I was lucid. I knew what was going on. And I just remember this lady uh, pulled me aside into some room, and and she's like, "Whoa, what are you doing?" She said something like, she basically reprimanded me and said, "What are you? What's going on? You have no idea what you're doing." Uh, please don't quote me uh, I can't remember exactly what she said but basically the sentiment was chill out you know you know you don't understand what you're doing she said to me so I was like okay I was actually a little to be honest I was a little uh, disturbed I was a little like whoa who's this lady barking at me in my lucid dream and then I begun to think this lady's helping me you know she's pulling me aside and I and then I started to ask her questions about my life which I always end up doing asking these people and uh, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I asked her, it's, it's a little personal, but uh, I asked her about a friend of mine and she told me some details about this friend of mine and you know, a lot of it made sense when I woke up. A lot of it made sense, a lot of it helped me understand these things, so it makes me wonder was I just talking to myself? Is everything a projection of myself, when I, even when I am lucid or non-lucid? Or was that a real entity, a real being, a real energy that was speaking to me that was totally outside of myself? I don't think there's any right or wrong uh, answer to that question. I'm not sure. You know, there's been videos where I made where I was like, yo, I'm completely sure, you know, these are people I'm meeting, these, these are energy forms, well, they can't be people. Uh, these are beings. I think that that's, you know, 
they are beings, but I can't say honestly that I know what these things are that I'm speaking to. For all I know, they're just projections of myself. The mind is infinite. The mind is all knowing. We are all connected. Super consciousness, you know, this is, uh, you know, there's, there's even scientists who speak about, you know, the implicate explicate order, you know, the, the quantum physicist Bohm details this very brilliantly where he talks about everything we think we can manifest and isn't that what this whole new age era is this whole new age talk about okay think soft manifest and yes look around I'm outside right now and I do believe that everything I'm looking at has a consciousness I look at the bench I look at the house I look at the the walls and I say yes yeah, somebody thought of those things and they manifested them into physical reality. So many things out there are manifested from thought. But was this tomato manifested from thought? Or did the tomato manifest itself? Some people would say this all-knowing being called God created everything. And, you know, uh, I do believe in a supreme being, in a supreme energy. More so like the Brahmins or the Taoists talk about it. Not so much in the Christianity sense uh, but if you really melt everything down I think it's all the same I'm, I'm, I'm diverting I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going off somewhere else so to go back to this whole thing ask questions that's the crux of this video when you become lucid ask questions whether you're talking to yourself a manifestation of yourself or someone else I think it doesn't matter it does not matter ask questions lately I've been asking many questions I've been meeting people I you know many times I go out to people like yo dude I'm dreaming what are you doing who are you and sometimes I'll get some detailed responses you know uh, and sometimes they won't even respond you know sometimes they'll they'll say you know yes I know you I'm, I've been with you I'm following you I'm a part of you and then I'll be like, alright well what's your cell phone number man you know like you got a Facebook you know how do I get in touch with you do I know you in the physical world and sometimes I'll get the affirmative yes I know you I've you know I've been around you things like this but I don't recognize this person in my physical life so what does that say perhaps we're living in multiple dimensions and multiple times sure why not I'm not gonna pretend that I know these things uh, with definity I just can't say that I do and I think that that's what this whole thing is that we're talking about with lucid dreams, non-lucid dreams, astral projection, lucid living. I think this is all an exercise. I don't think there's any right and I don't think there's any wrong. I don't think that there's anybody that absolutely knows. What you know is subject to you. What I know is subject to me. What all the other lucid dreamers know is subject to them. There is no absolutism. There is no, oh, yes, this is, these beings are outside of me. I know them. They come from this world and that world and this world and this dimension and that dimension. You know, this bardo, that bardo. These are all mental exercises, spiritual exercises, energetic exercises. At the end of the day, I believe that we're all so powerful. We are the most powerful. And to even say that we are so powerful is incorrect because we're so powerful compared to what? I mean, it doesn't even make sense to say that we're so powerful. What's not? If we are consciousness, we are alive. We have the ability to do anything. Anything that we could think, anything that, you know, that's that we could see anything that we can't see it's just all there this is the unifying force of lucidity to unify the lucidity from the dream world to the physical world it's all one world once we realize to the extent in which we do realize that it's all one world we become ridiculously powerful you know uh, like I said I run a business and there's a lot of business out, businessmen and businesswomen out there that I admire. And I see the traits in all of them. They all share this one trait. Bill Gates had it. Uh, Steve Jobs had it. All these, you know, Richard Branson, their whole thing was, 
I believe it. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I don't care. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. This was their whole mantra. And as they continue to, to, to carry out their building of this company or whatever it is they're building, apply it to anything in your life, it manifested into physical reality. Don't you see how powerful you are? You know? It's no surprise to me that when Bill Gates was 15 years old, he was breaking into computer labs, literally at 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, because he had this insatiable desire to write computer code. He was like, no one's going to stop me. i got to write. i got to write this code. No one's going to stop me. He went to IBM, and, and he sold an operating system they didn't even have at the time. Then he bought it, luckily, for $50,000 and turned it into something magnificent. And this could be applied to anything that you're doing in your life. If you're an artist, study the best artists and see what they've been doing. If you're a lucid dreamer or someone that's working in meditation, go study the gurus, the Zen masters, the, the Sufis and the shamans, and study all these people. And you will find common threads that they all believed and their belief manifested physical reality. Their belief manifested their powers. So just believe. Live your life. Don't let anyone stop you. Keep on lucid dreaming, of course. And keep on remaining lucid in this physical world. Remember, it's all one. Once we realize that we could carry out our dreams into physical reality without having to watch these movies like The Secret and all these other fancy movies which are pretty much oh I'll go ahead and watch them if you want but uh, they're pretty rosy pretty rosy let's say that just believe stay lucid study your lucid dreams because they're telling you a lot ask questions but remember act you must act 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 without acting all you're doing is dreaming and you could be dreaming all day long and never wake up